Hey, what is going on today, YouTube? So I have a package here. I think it's a dual package uh, that I got from Wish.com. So, let's see, ship from LAX, Business Parkways. Uh, just a whole bunch, that's just a whole bunch of shipping stuff. But uh, let's open this up and see what our first item is. I already have a reasonable idea, because, uh, well, So this is two packages, this is the first one I believe, and this one will be probably a different video. And um, well, at least we know it's not broken, so which I don't think like at all so shoes what a shock so uh yeah i got these uh high tops off wish.com and um yeah they were like 20 bucks they are from fashion professional skateboard shoes so um i'm not sure how i feel about these i have skated vans high tops before and these look like they are more for style than they are uh, actual skating because uh, Vans, well, this feel like this start off, this sidewall here or this canvas feels excruciatingly thin. So uh, that's probably not, oh, they got a, at least they got something right, which is this double stitch around here right but uh if you look at this tread this tread doesn't look very deep or thick to me except for these little stars which are the thicker part of the the shoe but uh and i got some spare advanced high tops here that i'm gonna do a review on here soon as you can see that looks way thicker except for the heel uh, i'll do more on these shoes later but for now, let's get to the wish.com shoes and uh, see how they do. So uh, on that, let's get to skating them. So really quick, this is kind of what they look like. Green pants, black shoes. Uh, they're a little tight towards my big toe on my right foot. But uh, other than that, they actually don't feel too bad, which uh, is kind of interesting. They feel kind of like just really bad Walmart shoes. But uh, let's get to skating and uh, see how uh, these shoes do. They're claimed to be pro skate shoes, which I've never actually even heard of these shoes. They're not even sold in like the local skate shops, 303, 720 or anything, or BC Surf and Sport. Uh, definitely, I don't know if they would sell them in Zoomies or what, not because I haven't been in there forever, because I just kind of quit going. But uh, on that, uh, let's get to skating and see how these do. And for today's board, we are skating the dinghy.
like I said, the shoes have a very soft tread on them, which is going to be a problem in the long run. Um, not that I see. They're not really having too much wear yet, but then again, I have only skated them just kind of a regular round trip to, you know, Old Town Arvada, parking garage, uh, just kind of mundane things that I would normally skate uh, from like my house to Walmart, from Walmart to Old Town, kind of through Old Town a little bit. But um, other than that, they, I would say, there's not a whole lot to say good about these shoes other than they're exceptionally cheap, um, comparable to those at Walmart. Um, but I would definitely not say that these are any good as far as I can see, because first off, Wish.com takes forever to ship them out, which knocks out the accessibility to really like below average to my standard. It'd be different if they had like two day shipping, kind of like Amazon does, which I would bump up the accessibility to that of Walmart. But since Wish.com does take forever to ship out their products um, and the products don't get to you till like a few weeks to maybe a couple of months later. Um, I would definitely not recommend these shoes. Uh, they're cheap, uh, they're not gonna last very long and then just the accessibility is just not there, especially when comparable to uh, Walmart, Amazon, or even your local skate shop that would normally have cheaper skate shoes for someone who has maybe an account with like a points uh, rewards program with that skate shop because I know several skate shops have, uh, don't know what that was, but uh, several skate shops have like a loyalty or a rewards program, much like 303 where the more you buy, the more points you get, and then you get like discounts and stuff. So I would definitely recommend researching more into that category of just looking into your local skate shop and seeing like loyalty programs or other than that um, I would say never buy anything off wish.com no matter how enticing and nice it may seem oh uh, hello hat hair but uh yeah, like you said no matter how enticing it may seem to want to order something off wish.com because of the ch cheapness uh, I would definitely not recommend it because the products are again cheaper and then just never ever gonna last as long as something of quality or on discount at a local skate shop. As, like I said, most skate shops will discount stuff that's just out of style or just didn't sell. So there's no, which doesn't mean they aren't still good. But uh, other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you guys next video.